Oh God. It's so hideously beautiful that I can't even look away. Like if I was driving and this was on the side of the road, I would definitely hit a small woman and a child, no problem. Just trying to look at this thing to understand what's going on. It's like when you take the blue pill and like you just go right into the matrix and you're like, whoa, this is way too much for my mind. Can we dissect this? We've talked about the Hellcasters and we've talked about, about John Jorgensen, but we've never played this guitar. This is my favorite strat. If you're on a desert island and you could play one strat, it wouldn't be like a 56. It wouldn't be in its 70s. It would be a Japanese John Jorgensen crazy, ridiculous champagne sparkle. We got a reverse headstock, which by the way, has no string trees and I definitely have had Strings come out at me, but like it doesn't matter because it's crazy. Locking tuners, orangey gold fleckety fleck. All over the pick guard, you have, I think that these are like Seymour Duncan, like what you'd normally have on like a 12 string or something. These split coil EMG looking things. And then you can have them all. So like if you're like, dude, what if I want to hear what it all sounds like and want, you can just pull it out. It's wild and it has like a, a, a bass sweep on it like and you could feel it it starts it stops and one of the greatest tremolos ever on any any strat I, I don't know it like locks like for forever it was like all flimsy flimsy it wasn't like the other player strat where it hits the thing and like it, this is like a beautiful angle it's really responsive but I had to push it in for years, I was like, this thing sucks, and it kept falling out, because you just go, Today, we dive into number 337 of 500, the Japanese, well, we don't even know if they made 500. The craziest thing to ever come out of the Japanese custom shop, the coolest of any strat I've ever seen. I mean, look, you have Hellcaster inlaid in like the sparkle color thing. Okay, let's plug this fucker in. It's like a 10 pound plus strat because it's made of solid maple. And by the way, it didn't always sound like this because a lot of them came with two capacitors on the tone, which basically calls the phone like solid bound. So I finally decided I would not make it original and take out that capacitor. My guy, Steve, assured me he could put it back in, but that I wouldn't want to. And now that I've heard what it sounds like, I don't. Second position. dig it in because I like to be able to dig in. It's a huge factor for me. Can I dig in? And does it go super out of tune? It sounds great at the 12th fret. It's one of those things that like sold me on the PRS Silver Sky was that John Mayer played all these super high chords and it sounded all musical and stuff. This also sounds musical. Sounds like it needs some WD-40 though. It's like my back. Oh God. that perfect Nile Rodgers Prince kind of thing. Now we're all the way up to the neck. That's a very usable strat tone without that. Like, do you hear any noise? No, no. Now, so this is all the pickups on at once. So I think what it does is it changes the coils of which which coils are on, but it's all the pickups. Pretty cool. This is all of them. 
It almost sounds like a piezo. Piezo? <laughs> That happens sometimes. That's the one thing happens on this strat. There's no string tree and there's something weird over here so it like pops out of the nut because I play a little bit. Whatever, John Jorgensen's so good, he can overcome. <laughs> Pull it out. Oh, that's cool, man. That's a wicked strat. So. All right, I'm gonna play with a little bit of delay. For me, not for you, for me. I use an RV3. A Boss RV3 from Japan. <laughs> I gotta say, this is just such an incredible guitar. It really is, it's wild. I don't even care that the E string falls out sometimes because like whatever, I mean, sometimes a boob falls out and no one's upset then. Why don't you smash that subscribe button already? <laughs>